Wow, what an extraordinary moment in my life. I just met It all felt like a blur over the past few weeks. I was in Southern California for a couple of weeks. I was on the East Coast. A lot of meetings, a lot of non-YouTube stuff and YouTube stuff like, you know, editing and all that usual stuff and meeting many interesting people. Throughout the years because of this channel, I've met many people, some of them including yourselves. Some were quite famous, but none could compare to Jacques Pepin. I'll let somebody more informed do the introduction. Chef educator, author, TV pioneer, somewhere along the line, you found time to what, become, get a master's degree in French literature from Columbia, a Zelig-like figure in American gastronomy and French gastronomy for that matter, cooked for three presidents. There at every major point in, in culinary history. I mean, uh, the pavillon, uh, the early days of Howard Johnson's, a pioneer of uh, the celebrity chef thing, how where it, it all started with you were there more than seven decades in the restaurant business. I mean, you started it. Yeah. The celebrity chefs and TV chefs you see today were all influenced by Jacques. And yes, he has ties to Vietnam. And then you've been to Vietnam, as you said. Yes. Yeah. Do you have a, like a favorite place uh, in, in Vietnam? Well, I thought the north of Vietnam, I really liked I liked it around I know, the beach area too. In the, in the, in Saigon, or I remember in Saigon, that was the first time that I went there. No. No, not yet. Oh, look at the narrow here. Yeah. Wow, it's beautiful. Wow. A wine? Yeah, sure, sure. I, I, I'm, I'm definitely not a wine expert, but yeah. <laughs> right, and, and when you, when you, you told me you went to Da Nang, you really like the central food. Yes, yeah, it did. I mean, it just happened, you know, I'm not, we travel there and uh, the food happened to, uh, to be quite good there. Mm -hmm. It's true, yeah, there's something about central Vietnam that... that yeah. But the best thing about Jacques, beyond his accomplishments and everything that he's done, is the fact that he's the most humble and down-to-earth person I've met with such accolades and such accomplishments. It was truly an honor. Thank you, Jacques and Gloria, for inviting me over. I, I was very nervous before meeting you. Yeah. Because, I mean, to, to me, you're, I think you're a big deal. And you hear yeah. this many, many times, but I grew up as a really young kid okay. in front of the TV watching you and Julia Child. So it, it was a big deal. To me, this is a very important day. How, how did this happen? How did this happen in my life? I'm still very surprised by it. It's like sometimes you feel like... Did that really happen? You know, somebody just pinched me a little, right? And again, not to be a complete fanboy, but I am a fanboy. Guys, if you don't know Jacques Pepin, well, hopefully this video, uh, you know, made you a little bit more aware, but you really just have to know him. I wish I could have filmed more, but I didn't want to intrude. It was just the meeting. I'm glad he let me even come to his house. But more importantly, he knows I exist. <laughs> But some of you who know exactly who Jacques is, you know exactly how I feel right now. If I had to judge a good technically a chef is, I probably would ask him to do an omelette. It is difficult to make a real good omelette. I just kind of needed a break from filming everything all the time. So I really took the past few weeks to enjoy time with family, friends and viewers as well. Speaking of viewers, my time on the East Coast allowed me to visit Montreal for the first time. And I have to say it's my favorite Canadian city so far. No offense, Winnipeg. I was actually watching a video of you like last week, right before he posted on his Facebook, oh, Kyle is in Montreal. Oh, okay. so I was like, for real? Oh, okay. So then I messaged him, I'm like, hey, maybe we should go and check it out. Nice, Why not? Nice, yeah. so, awesome, awesome. You're probably the most famous person I've met ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that famous. I'm not that famous. <laughs> the turnout to the meet was so great. Thank you everybody for coming and I hope to return one day and spend more than just a night and a day there. How was the Vietnamese food? Well, with such a limited time, I only tried a couple of places, but so far so good. For something as far north as Montreal, the options exceeded my expectations. But beyond that, Montreal is such a clean, peaceful, and cool city. It's got such great vibes. And thank you again, everyone. I really appreciate the support. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. I will. Bye. I just got into Denmark 
last night. And... Hey, hey! So in addition to traveling around and making YouTube videos, I'm also taking a very serious look at where I want to live and what I can do for the next few months. The original plan was to start grad school in 2018 in January. However, the program that I want to be a part of doesn't start until August 2018 now. It just suddenly changed over the summer. So I'm open. I, I really want to do something else. I'm trying to figure certain things and you know just to gain more experiences. But as of right now, in September, at uh, the end of September, uh, 2017, I'm still quite unsure. And probably and hopefully by the time this video is released, I'll have a better idea. And if you follow me on social media, maybe you already know what I'm doing and where I'm at. You know, certain places um, that I'm going to is uh, strategically planned, right? It's not just, you know, who's there, but it's also what is there as well. Uh, certain companies, certain businesses, um, you know, I've had a few interviews. But again, the opportunity the right one for me at least, right? Because I'm, I'm actually very picky when it comes to uh, to work and, and all that, right? I want something that f makes me feel good and makes good money and, you know, and strategically it has to be right for my personal development as well. And I also don't want to just work in America right now because I want that international experience because eventually I will go back to America. And even if I do get into school, I still don't know if I'm going to go or not. It just depends on what's going to happen in the next few weeks and months to come. And I'm glad that you guys are here with me uh, you know, along for the ride, even though it's delayed, and again, I'm sorry, because I just can't keep up with the editing, because it's trying to do other things, and you guys understand, you know, so that's why you're still here, that's why you're watching this video. I really don't know what's going to happen, right? Nothing is for certain in this crazy life. If you told me right now, three years ago, hey, you're going to be sitting in Nina's apartment, I'd be like, no way. Oh, huh, files are transferring. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go back to work. And a very, very special thank you to Andrew over at EasyShopDrone.com, not only for being such a loyal follower to the channel and a good friend, but for providing the DJI Spark in order to film the footage you're looking at now and for future videos. So please check out his website if you're in the market for a drone. The link is below. Not affiliate links or anything like that, just helping out a cool guy who helped me to make better content. So thank you. Stay tuned, everybody. More awesome videos are coming up and, of course, a few familiar faces as well.